Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about addition theorem in probability and statistics that is already discussed in the previous video. Now we have to solve one more example problem on addition theorem in probability. The given problem is the probability of horse A winning a race is 1 by 5 and the probability of horse B winning a race is 1 by 4. In any race, what is the probability that either of the horses win? Second one, what is the probability that none of the horses will win? This is the given problem. The solution to the given problem. First of all, the probability of horse A winning a race can be denoted by P of A that is equal to 1 by 5. Next, the probability of horse B winning a race can be denoted by P of B that is equal to 1 by 4. Now, the first problem. What is the probability that either of the horses win in the race that can be denoted by p of a union b that means probability of either horse a or a horse b win in the race that can be denoted by p of a union b that is equal to p of a plus p of b minus P of A intersection B. Here, P of A intersection B is nothing but horse A and horse B will participate in the race independently so that probability of A intersection B can be written as probability of A into probability of B because horse A and horse B will participate in the race independently so that probability of A intersection B can be defined as probability of A into probability of B. Now the above formula can be changed as probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A into probability of B. What is probability of A? That is 1 by 5. What is probability of B? That is 1 by 4. A minus probability of A into probability of B. So that is equal to 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4 minus 1 by 20. So what is the LCM? So LCM is 20. 5 goes 4 times. 4 into 1 is nothing but 4 plus 4 goes 5 times. 5 into 1 is nothing but 5 minus 20 goes 1 time. 1 into 1 is nothing but 1. 4 plus 5, 9, 9 minus 1 that is 8. 8 by 20. So that is equal to 2 by 5. So this is the answer. Probability of A union B is nothing but 2 by 5. The probability of either A, either horse A or a horse B will win the race is 2 by 5. Now we can go for second problem. What is the probability that none of the horses will win? So that can be denoted by probability of A bar intersection B bar. None of the horses will be win can be denoted by probability of A bar intersection B bar. So that is nothing but probability of A union B 
whole bar. According to set theory, we know that A union B whole bar is equal to A bar intersection B bar. So that can be denoted as 1 minus probability of A union B. We already know that probability of A union B value that is 2 by 5. So that is equal to 1 minus 2 by 5. So that is equal to 3 by 5. Okay. Probability of horse A winning a race can be denoted by probability of A. Probability of horse A cannot win a race can be denoted by probability of A bar. Okay. Probability of horse P does not winning a race can be denoted by probability of B bar. So probability that none of the horses will win in the race can be denoted by probability of A bar intersection B bar. According to set theory, we know that a union B whole bar is equal to A bar intersection B bar. According to set theory, A union B whole bar is equal to 1 minus probability of A union B. So already we know that A union B value. So that we have to substitute probability of A union B value here. 1 minus 2 by 5 that is equal to 3 by 5. In this way, we have to solve the given problem. I hope the second problem is, in a survey of 100 readers, it was found that 40 reads magazine A, 15 reads magazine B, and 10 members reads both magazine A and magazine B. What is the probability that a randomly selected person reading at least one of the magazine? The solution is the total number of readers in a survey is equal to 100. The probability of reading magazine A can be denoted by P of A is equal to the total number of persons reading the magazine A that is 40 divided by total number of readers in the survey that is 100. Okay, so 40 by 100. 40 is nothing but the number of readers read magazine A. That is nothing but favorable number of cases. That is equal to 40. Total number of readers in the survey is 100. So, the probability of reading magazine A can be denoted by P of A is equal to Number of readers read magazine A divided by total number of readers in the survey. That is nothing but 40 by 100. Next, probability of reading magazine B can be denoted by P of B is equal to number of readers read magazine B. So that is 15 divided by total number of readers in the survey that is 100 so 15 by 100 the probability of reading magazine b that is nothing but p of b is equal to 15 by 100 the probability of reading magazine a is nothing but p of a that is equal to 40 by 100 next one 10 reads both that means the probability of reading Magazine A and Magazine B can be denoted by P of A intersection B is equal to number of persons read Magazine A and Magazine B that is nothing but 10 divided by total number of readers in the survey that is 100 that is nothing but 10 by 100. Next one, what is the pro probability that a randomly selected person reading at least one of the magazines that can be denoted by probability of A union B. That is nothing but 
the probability of reading either a magazine A or a magazine B. That can be denoted by probability of A union B. According to addition theorem, probability of A union B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A intersection B. So that is equal to what is probability of A? That is 40 by 100. Plus what is probability of B? 15 by 100. Minus what is probability of A intersection B? That is 10 by 100. So now we are taking the LCM value 100. 100 goes one time. 1 into 40 is nothing but 40. Plus 100 goes one time. 1 into 15 is nothing but 15. Minus 100 goes one time. 1 into 10 is nothing but 1. So 40 plus 15, 55, 55 minus 10, that is 45. So 45 by 100. So we are randomly selected one person. That person reads at least magazine A or a magazine B is nothing but probability of A union B. Its value is equal to 45 by 100. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.